if you think you've got supply chain problems, imagine trying to supply a luxury resort that's on an island. How far off the mainland? Oh, not not far, Rob. Uh, probably only about. Um, now you're testing me. Twelve kilometres off the mainland. Twelve kilometres off the mainland. So what are we talking about? We're talking to Ian Menzies, who's the group supply chain manager for Hamilton Island Resorts. That's right. So, Ian, I mean, this is fascinating. We've just been having a chat about supply chain and the difficulties of normal supply chains. Tell us a bit about supplying an island resort. Thanks, Rob. Um, I've been there for about uh, 14 months now. And, yes, it is a little unique in the way that uh, we can't have... Uh, deliveries coming to us at any old time of the day. They need to be scheduled in with our, our barge operations, which runs twice a day to the island. We've got a 350-tonne barge that basically supports the island for everything that it needs. And we were talking earlier about it's everything from toilet paper to French champagne, but it's also our diesel, our aviation fuel and building materials to support the island. So it's a big place. When it's full, we can have in excess of 6,000 people We've got a marina that carries nearly 300 boats and people are coming and going with that. So no, it's quite a quite a challenging task, but a good one. Yeah, oh, look, it sounds fascinating. The, fir the first thing, if, sorry, if you don't know where Hamilton Island is, we're talking about a luxury resort off the coast of Queensland in Australia. But um, we were talking earlier and I said, oh, Ian, you must be sort of based out of some office in Brisbane, you know, and he just chuckled. He said, no, 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 I'm in the resort. So... Um, tell us about some of the, the sort of peaks and troughs that you get, because most supply chains do have you know, seasonal peaks and troughs. It must be really tricky for you. Yeah, certainly our peaks and troughs are driven by, by the tourist market, I guess, and then a range of special events that we have through the year. So um, some, of your, some of your blog viewers will know of Hamilton Race Week, which is one of uh, Australia and even internationally a premium kind of yacht regatta, which is held up in the Whit Sunday. So, uh, and that can see the island really absolutely bulging at its seams. And they're, they're the weeks, it's like a 10 day regatta, they're the weeks where I literally uh, deal with like, uh, you know, we do a, a semi-trailer load of beer a week normally. Uh, for race week, we double that. Uh, I'll do 10 without naming too many brands. You're not affiliated with any beer uh, no. producers, are you? But like we do like 10 pallets of Corona. We do six tonne of beef. Uh, I do literally 800 uh, kilos of salmon and various other things. Just statistics that make your eyes water. And I guess the, the difference is that we're dealing with uh, the brand is all about um, delivery, uh, delivering a top quality mm. product. So there can't be compromise mm. in, um, there can't be the excuse that, oh, well, sorry, we've run out of that champagne or something like that. But uh, what keeps me awake at night is uh, running out of toilet paper. So we've got about <laughs> we've got about three weeks worth of that, and I am having to parachute it in if it looks like we're running out. Yeah. <laughs> Sensational. And uh, if, if you've never been to Hamilton Island Resort, I think we've got to plug the resort. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. We'll, we'll put a link below. Yeah. And you go and have a look at this place. Yeah. It is sensational. Yeah. So and and uh, look, we're always looking for good forklift operators. Like We, we might not pay the uh, top rate for a forklift operator, but you do live in a very nice part of the world. <laughs> so, Ian, thanks. Thanks very much for sharing that with us. Rob, absolute pleasure. And we look forward to seeing you back on Hamilton Island for the uh, full, full service. I'll be back soon. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>